Is the Derek Carr to the New Orleans Saints trade about to go down? Shit, you know we got to holler about it. Once again, it's your boy Panama Fargo back again with another motherfucking episode of the Raider Rundown. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, all love shown is reciprocated. So, look, we, we here on February 7th, Tuesday. All right, and, and it seems that Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints have a meeting set for tomorrow, Wednesday, February 8th. To see uh, uh, if they can come together and make some shake. And if you're asking where you hearing this information, there go the information in question. So yeah, you know, um, it, it, this is being reported by a lot of uh, credible sources, i.e. Ian Rappaport, i.e. you know Adam Schefter, and, and a lot of other credible sources. So so this is official information. This is going down. You know, so that this meeting is really about to go down. This is what's about to happen. Um, if y'all remember. Or if y'all seen it, I made a video, go check this out, about Derek Carr and, and how he was finally able to, you know, seek a trade or, or he was granted permission to seek a trade uh, by the Raiders. But you have to remember the stipulations about that trade are that he will only be able to talk to teams that have already agreed to some sort of compensation. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. Derek Carr was allowed to talk to other teams, but only the teams that already had compensation put forth. Okay, so putting two, to, two and two together, even though it is reported that a trade is not imminent and the trade isn't, you know, it isn't official official, it's just talks. Remember, he was only allowed to talk to teams that, that have already gave the Raiders some sort of indication on what they're willing to give up as far as compensation. Okay, so, so the ball on this is rolling. Okay, New Orleans has been my team that I thought that he was going to go to all along. It just seems like a comfortable fit. You got Dennis Allen there, the guy that drafted you. Derek has always talked about how much love he got for him and, and, and how much he appreciates him for, for giving him an opportunity in the NFL. So already a coach that, that loves, appreciates, and wants you, okay, playing in a dome. Once again, we all know as Raider fans, you know, that cold weather shit, he's not really, he's not really into that. He don't, I don't, me personally, I don't think he wants to do that. I don't think that's where he wants to, to, to lay his hat. That cold weather demon is, is still on him. Okay. So I don't think that's where he wants to do nice, nice dome above your head to go ahead and, and, and bomb these passes that he wants to bomb. Okay. And, and last but not least. Weak ass division, okay. Remember what division the Saints are in. You got fucking pretty much damn near every team in that goddamn division needs a quarterback, minus Atlanta, because you know Atlanta got the Desmond Ritter thing going on. They probably gonna see um what's gonna go down with that. But you know, besides them, every other team in that division is looking for a quarterback, okay. So right there, he be the best quarterback in that division, period. You know, he'd be the best quarterback in that division as soon as he steps onto New Orleans if they were to trade for him. So with them three factors in mind, we got to think about it. It's a perfect destination for him. He He's trying to he's trying to prove to the league. He's trying to prove to damn near us fans, Raider fans, he can win and get a team to the playoffs and also win a playoff game. If, if you're looking at those factors... New Orleans is the best team for him to get there and try to achieve that goal, right? So we don't know what's going to happen, uh, uh, but but the wheels are turning. I've always said if we're going to do anything, if we're going to do anything as far as like trading for another quarterback, getting another quarterback, that's not going to happen until this Derek Carr thing gets resolved, okay? So either he gets cut or either he gets traded. We're hopeful, we're hopeful he gets traded. OK, now I've been saying the Saints all along just because they got two first round picks. You never know what a fucking team might be able to might be willing to give up for a quarterback. I always tell everybody I talk to football wise that NFL teams and professional teams seem to be real smart with other positions except the fucking quarterback position. When it comes to the quarterback position. Everybody's so fucking sporadic and they're trying to find the next big thing that they'll swing and miss on a lot more than they fucking, you know, hit on. So we might be a beneficiary of a team saying we need to try to get this man before anybody else does. There's a lot of chatter about where Derek Carr can go. So maybe New Orleans is sitting there saying, you know what, to secure 
to secure the quarterback we want, fuck it. Let's give Las Vegas the number 29th overall pick. Wishful thinking, you know what I mean? I'm hoping we can get somewhere like a second, maybe a third, you know. But if we do come away with that first round pick, we do come away with that first round pick. Now we in a fucking, we in, we in some, some shit right here. We in a very good position because say, let's just go through hypotheticals, right? Say you can get Aaron Rodgers. From what I'm hearing now and, and all these rumors, it, it might not cost a lot to get Aaron. It might not. Maybe we can give him a second. Second or some, and, and we can keep two first round picks, you know? Maybe we, or, or I mean, two first round picks, two, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, two first round picks, you know what I mean? Maybe we can keep that, or or we can package that up, or maybe, you know what I mean? We get a second for DC, and all we have to give up is the second we got from the Saints, and, and we can get Aaron Rodgers. I mean, you, this is all hypothetical, wishful thinking, you know? But whatever we're gonna do, the first domino that has to fall has to be Derek Carr. So, you know, let's see what happens. The meeting is set for tomorrow, and we'll see if more information comes, uh, you know, comes away with that. If he comes away saying that this is where I want to go, we might be looking at the trade as early as next Monday. But, uh, you know, well, let's cross our fingers and, and let's see what happens, man. The, the deadline is approaching. Deadline is February 15th. So, so let's see what the fuck we do. Once again, it's been another motherfucking episode. Coming to you live from the den. One this time, you know what I mean? Not in the vehicle, but we in the den now. And uh, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, all love shown is reciprocated. And we always keep it authentic from the clouds to the ground on the Raider Rundown.